Hello everyone, this is Seb for this Stories with yet another video and I do want to apologise first of all for the lack of video so I can't really say another video um, because I was looking at my over my videos earlier today and it has it actually been over a month at this stage since I uploaded a new video to this channel um, I do apologise for that, I mean I, been really busy with the return of school, it was studying, homework, uh, you know, because I'm sure most of you who know me uh, over Facebook and all that uh, as well know that this is my leaving exam year, like in June, early June, I'm sitting my leaving exam, so it's been a huge cutback in, um, for me with the videos and the sort and would love to try and find spare time to do a lot of videos, but it doesn't always happen. But yeah, I'm getting this one out of the way before I completely forget. Um, so yeah, this vlog, I guess, video you could say I'll be talking about some of the conventions I plan to attend in 2014 because I know, uh, well, I'm gonna say recent, but you know, for me, with how time is flying with school and all, I mean. Recent really is go goes back to a month back, but I know some people there, uh, most notably sci-fi autograph hunters with Nabil and Logan, um, have been doing videos of their plans for 2014 convention. I'll give you a quick run through of some that I plan to attend. I mean, still a long ways to go. You know, plans could change. I mean, well. <laughs> I'm not so sure that's right. I'll probably end up att definitely attending them, but you know, just some of them at 100% sure, but really I think once in the first half of the year, pretty much certain. Um, the first one uh, to, in 2014, I won't be at attending any in January or February next year, I think. Um, because, you know, with the Emerald Garrison, the main Irish cosplay legion, they usually do their Heroes and Legends Belfast event like I went to this year um, in the February but they're bringing their Invasion Belfast forward from October to March for next year so I'll probably I mean Heroes and Legends will be later in the year but uh, if at all in the next year uh, but yeah that does bring me to the first convention I'm definitely going to and I'm excited about and that is Invasion Belfast 6 it did take the Emerald Garrison a while to announce the details because they teased it like a month or two before they officially announced it. Well, maybe not two, maybe one and a half around that. Um, they finally announced there's the 8th and 9th of March and you know this is the 6th Invasion Belfast so and it's going to be in March next year because the center that they usually have the event at W5 they're doing work and I don't know, well, I want to say fixing stuff, I'm not actually too sure, I just know there's a lot of work at, going on at W5, so they can't use the convention centre around October when they usually have the events, um, first weekend of October, so they're doing the first weekend of March instead, and that really does make sense why they were taking a while to get dates finalised, because, you know, if you're used to doing the first week in October, then... Well, it'd be kind of difficult to change things, but anyway. One thing I do have to admit, though, I mean, I've done around six or seven conventions at this stage, and RC Invasion Belfast was the one I did attend last year. It was probably my least favourite convention I've attended. It wasn't bad, it just compared to yours, it wasn't that great. Um, say, I uh, can't really decide, but between that and the recent Dublin Comic Con, which will probably be my last event of this year. Um, you know, between those two, it's a bit tricky to say which one I like to least. Uh, but because the other ones I loved, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. It's not that I didn't like them. It's just that I pre much preferred all the others. But really excited for Invasion Belfast Six because, um, well, Invasion Dublin is coming later in the year. Um, so I mean this comment might not make a lot of sense but for those of you who have been following the invasion events you'll know um ever since like after 2009 which was around when they did their second event i think could be wrong maybe 2008 actually 
But, um, yeah, it must have been 2009. Uh, never mind me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so they had their first two events and got some really good guests at the event. I mean, at the second invasion of Belfast, they even had Dave Faust, Vader, Kenny Baker, 2D2, and Jeremy Bullock, Boba Fett. All at the one event. I mean, you've got three big name guests like that at the one event for what you quote unquote smaller convention. I mean, that's pretty darn good. Um, yeah, and you had guests like those, and then they've been in Invasion Dublin, and suddenly Dublin's getting all the big guests. Not that I'm complaining, considering I live in Dublin, but I can go to both shows, so I'd like good guests at both. Uh, yeah, so Dublin are getting a lot of great guests, and Belfast ones gradually decline, and the one I did go to, I will confess, looking back on it now, because, you know, ever since getting involved with the podcasts and all that I do, I mean, I appreciate guests a lot more now, and those who are in Star Wars and all that. I mean, it's not just like, oh yeah, you're important to you, and a lot of them, like, you know, for original trilogy guests and all the movies, prequel trilogy, M uh, main voice cast of Clone Wars, blah blah blah, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, but now I now I could just go for just about anyone, really. Um, if Invasion Belfast 6 they got, Tim Rose, who played Admiral Ack, but I've met him twice now, but missed out on his autograph both times, because it's choosing to spend money elsewhere, but third time definitely will get his when I meet him again. Um, Jeremy Bullock again, Boba. Uh, and I hand guys autograph by Invasion Belfast, and I still hand until found fun day this year. Um, Anthony Ferris, who played a sand trooper and fixed into deleted scenes, was really that bothered because look when I I tear the convention how all it really was to me it was really a storm, uh, not storm to a sand trooper really, but obviously now I mean I care about the F one so. Yeah, Sand Trooper's great for me. Um, they also had Jerome Blake, who had played multiple background characters in the prequel trilogy. Yeah, it wasn't huge for some, but now I'm kind of looking back on it, wishing I had met him and got his autograph, because, I mean, he plays some really cool alien characters, even if only briefly, and, you know, he doesn't seem to attend a lot of conventions anymore, so yeah. I mean, and from what I've heard, Invasion Belfast 6, I mean, they're big enough to be their biggest, most spectacular show yet. Um, okay, I, I'm holding them to that, but, well, just see, I mean, this is actually, overall, the 10th Invasion so far event. Because um, there's been, this will be the 6th in Belfast, they've had 3 in Dublin, that's 9, they had 1 in Cork as well. Um, so, yeah, this Belfast one will make number 10. Kinda actually ironic considering this is the anniversary of Ten of the Jedi. What am I trying to say? I really need to be in better shape for the podcast in a couple of hours. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so yeah, it's Invasion Belfast. Uh, one convention I was excited about that was announced is the MCM Comic Expo in Dublin. Uh, coming because. They've done a lot of events in the UK, and they're really well known. Um, actually, I've been reading some reviews on them. It's kind of mixed. I mean, I'd say pos the positives outweigh the negatives, but there definitely are some negative reviews out there for them. But I've been following some of their conventions for a while. Um, yeah, I like the look of what I've seen. I mean, they do get some good guests. And merely their NEC memorabilia show in Birmingham, Birmingham is there biggest show and it's the only NEC they actually do but and MCM is kind of like a branch I guess you could say um, yeah, I'm excited for the MCM Comic Expo in Dublin should be great I mean we've got some they've had some great guests for the events I mean you know, Anthony Daniels C3PO has done one of the events and um, they've had some Walking Dead cast like Jeffy Dumont who played Dale uh, Andrew Rothenberg who played Jim and had some bigger Walking Dead cast names at other conventions like NEC. Um, a lot of our guests like that, I mean... Actually, they had Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor, at uh, one of the London ones to promote... I think it was 
when the time he first came into Doctor Who actually, I could be wrong, maybe it was to promote Series 7, something like that anyway, I'm not completely 100% sure. So they do definitely get some great guests, I can't wait to see who they get for MCM Dublin, hopefully some good ones. Uh, they actually did announce a MCM Comic Expo show for uh, Belfast as well, but unfortunately because the leaving C exams, which is the leaving exams I do down in June, as I mentioned, uh, are, I believe they're usually in the middle of June, um, but this year, well, this year anyway, they're in, at the start, like, starting on the 4th or something, um, and the Belfast show is on, like, on the 7th and 8th, so no way I can go to in the middle of it, I really wish I could. But hopefully the Dublin show is good enough uh, to make up for that. Um, another one I'm probably going to go to, uh, well, I'm getting more into the probablys now, is uh, my second Star Wars Fan Fun Day next May, presuming it's the Bank Holiday May again, because you know, I went to it this year, really great show, very impressed with it. Um, so, yeah, would definitely like to go for a second time, um, hopefully many more in the future. Uh, so, Star Wars Fan Fun Day, I don't think I've got any planned for June, because naturally, why would I? I mean, that's my leaving exam uh, month, so yeah, not really got any conventions that I plan to attend then. I mean, I would like to get to the MCM Belfast one, but consider it's right in the middle, there's no way. Um, July, that's when London Film and Car Con by Showmasters is. Actually, I might as well mention this. I might have planned to attend London Film and Comic Con next summer in July. Or Collector Mania Glasgow in August. I mean, they got some. I follow both events, uh, and they would get some really good guests. I mean, Showmaster themselves as a whole get a ton of great guests for their events. Um, good mixture of big names, um, rare signers, first time convention guests. I mean, yeah, they get a really good mix, and I'm probably gonna go to the Collector Mania Glasgow one as I have a bit more time then. Um, because if I was to go to the film and Comic Con, like I'd be literally prepared for it from the moment my exams are over and trying to get all done by mid or late July. Not too sure. Um, but yeah, it's only named four conventions. I'm pretty sure there's more. Oh yeah, while the dates have been announced for it, it definitely the Invasion Belfast. Uh, Invasion Belfast. Oh, what am I talking about? Invasion Dublin, which is confirmed to be returning next year as well I'll definitely go to that anywhere any convention in Dublin will definitely go to um, they just need a next date to that and I'll be there um, invade no not invasion what's my obsession with invasion just because I want to be the first second and third conventions I went to I, I'm I'm got invasion on the brain that's not actually really a good thing um, but yeah, the last convention, again, sticking with Dublin, uh, of course, I did mention the Dublin Comic Con earlier, um, which probably will only get bigger and better, and I'm looking forward to seeing it grow. We'll be having its second event this next year, 2014, probably around the same time as they did this year. So I'll probably look into going to that. Um, yeah, it should be a good event. Hopefully it's an improvement, because I remember... I'm saying they only had time really to display after the sets. Really, I think more or less that they just didn't have enough room to display all of them, to be honest. Um, they definitely need a bigger venue with much more space in the future. But, um, I think that's six or seven conventions I've talked about now. And that is around how many I'm hoping to attend, definitely currently. Uh, next year so far. I mean there's a ton of great events happening next year already I'm excited for I mean kind of disappointed that I've got no more this year but you know, it's October and I can think about the conventions and hopefully I'll get to meet many more great guests because that's the, my favorite part about a tank adventure to getting to meet all the guests and people I worship from the work they've done on the things I like um, and hopefully in 2015, I'll be getting the celebration and I mean, I'll probably know in 2014 if I can or can't. Fingers crossed that I can. 
Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to bringing you many more convention updates, videos from when I attended conventions and stuff like that. Interview some conventions as well, That's something else. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video, my return to video in after over a month uh, without any. So hope you've enjoyed this video, made a voice with you and happy hunting.